Welcome back. The actual amount would be placed in the description. Now I'm going to use all of the spices and herbs that you have previously seen in the ingredients properly together and then I'm going to add a small amount of room temperature water and my chicken that I secure in certain places so that the brine could really absorb into all of the meat and soften the meat and flavor the meat so make sure and take a knife and make some holes all around the chicken place the entire chicken in the brine that you made and leave that there overnight to soak in all of that broth I left mines actually for 48 hours I placed enough salt in the mixture all right so now you're seeing me adding the chicken and I'm going to add more water to cover the chicken and once I add the water I'm going to mix everything up a little bit again and I'm going to add some vinegar and give it a mix make sure that all of the spices and herbs is evenly distributed within this brine also the vinegar that I added I want to make sure that it is all over so I'm going to place that in the refrigerator for 48 hours 24 to 48 hours so now when I am ready to cook this I am going to add my potatoes I'm just you just adding some potatoes so that the chicken will have something to lay on but normally a crock pot is non-stick so you wouldn't have that problem so you don't need to add the potatoes but I am all right so 48 hours later I am removing the chicken that is properly well soaked in this brine so it's full of flavor and you can clearly see all the little marks that we made so that the chicken could totally absorb that water and we're going to place it into the crock pot preheat your crock pot before you get started i placed mine on high and we're going to place that in there we're going to add absolutely no water to this okay absolutely no water so i'm using some pineapples and we're going to cover that and i'm going to let it cook on medium for four and a half hours because i was doing other little chores around the house so it's not like i needed it to cook that same night this was done christmas eve because I had some painting to do and my niece came over for Christmas night so I did this roast chicken in my crock pot so this is what it looks like three and a half hours later it was cooked and I leave it to get some color so at four and a half hours this is what it looks like I removed it it was just peeling off the bone and full of flavor it was really you make enjoyable cuts in the meat as i said you would allow the meat to soak properly in that brine that you soaked it in for that 24 to 48 hours and the key to this is making sure that there is enough salt in this to preserve the meat because you don't want your meat to be spoiling on you and make sure that you place it in the refrigerator and this would go good with some rice and beans or just some mashed potatoes. It goes good with anything. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year. I just want to come here and thank everybody who have been supporting me. So come on, let's get into this video.
welcome to Kendall's Corner. Today, I want to make this video to thank all of the persons 